there are so many nuances in every house, right? Like uh, you have three roommates, Rahan's got a wife, I've got a wife and a, a daughter, yeah. right? Like I, I always use the analogy like you can imagine three, you know, townhouses or three duplicate homes, you know, duplexes right next to each other, right? All exactly the same layout, but just the yeah. occupants being different, right? Uh, elderly couple, young family, newlyweds. Um, you couldn't go in and just give them standard automations because everyone, every use of that yeah. home would be different. Um, and that's yeah. where no one, I don't think any company has solved that yet. Um, no. Well, and and there's there's also, again, you got to remember, there's also a lot of times people living with disabilities and stuff like that, right? Which, you know, enables certain things or, or forces you to enable certain yep. uh, ways of leveraging home automation and stuff like that, right? Um, yeah. So I think, Dean, uh, creating automations uh, certainly yeah, requires a bit of creativity um, and edge case finding. Uh, yeah. Even just in simple homes, right? Like if you just by yourself, living by your own, like yeah. there would be edge cases that you would have to consider. Uh, should the bathroom light turn on at 3 a.m. 100% all the time <laughs> or should it, you know, only on weekends, yeah. right? Like there's so many nuances. Um, 